A lot of BS. Nacho Figueres buries Prince Harry's Netflix polo doc with a new interview. Nacho Figueres, known as the David Beckham of polo, is a big name in Argentina. He's stylish, handsome, and a fierce competitor. Figueres has a strong bond with Prince Harry, but it seems that Bond is facing a challenge. Figueres recently gave an interview that has sparked a lot of gossip. He didn't hold back, and his words have caused a stir. This drama involves Polo, a Netflix documentary, and a lot of controversy. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The Polo Bromance Nacho Figueres and Prince Harry Nacho Figueres and Prince Harry have been friends for over a decade. Their friendship is one of the strongest outside Harry's family. Figueres has been a big supporter of Harry, even during tough times. The two share a love for polo. They've played together in charity matches, including for Centibale. Their friendship has been a source of comfort for Harry. Figueres also defended Harry and Meghan against the British press. He supported their decision to step back from royal duties. But everything changed with the Netflix documentary. Prince Harry's Netflix Polo Doc A Missed Goal? Prince Harry's partnership with Netflix has been talked about a lot. People expected groundbreaking documentaries from them. The focus on polo was a surprise to many. Why polo? It's a sport that's not well known to many. But for Harry, it's deeply meaningful. The documentary aimed to highlight polo and Harry's charitable work. But the documentary received mixed reviews. Some thought it was unnecessary, while others were excited. Unfortunately, it didn't live up to expectations. Critics said it didn't explore the sport's depth or history. It felt like a vanity project. Fans were disappointed by the lack of a compelling narrative. Nacho Figueres Interview A lot of BF. Nacho Figueres recently gave a bombshell interview. He didn't hold back when talking about Harry's polo documentary. A lot of BS, Figueres said, sparking a media frenzy. Figueres implied the documentary was lacking substance. In the world of sports, like polo, you can't afford to be half-hearted. Figueres felt the documentary didn't do the sport justice. Nacho's frustration might come from Polo's tough image. He's worked hard to show Polo's true side. Seeing a documentary that didn't meet his standards was disappointing. Figueres' comment also questions the documentary's making. Was he involved, and if so, was his input ignored? These questions are still unanswered. Figueres isn't afraid to speak his mind, even if it strains his friendship with Harry. Friendship on the rocks? Friends often disagree, but this public spat is striking. Figueres has always stood by Harry. So, why the sudden change? Some think it shows growing tensions in Harry's circle. Harry's life has changed a lot since moving to the U.S. The media scrutiny and building a new brand with Meghan are tough. Figueres' blunt comment might reflect a bigger issue. Figueres is known for promoting polo as a sport for everyone. If Harry's documentary reinforced polo's elite image, Figueres was right to be upset. Figueres' comments will likely cause some fallout. The royal watching world is buzzing with questions. Will Harry and Nacho make up, or is this the start of a rift? The broader implications. This story also raises questions about former royals' post-royal careers. Harry and Meghan face intense scrutiny with every move. A failed project like the Polo documentary gives critics more to say. Harry's Netflix deal was a big step after leaving the royal family. Many hoped it would showcase his charitable work on a global scale. But Figueres' criticism of the documentary raises doubts about Harry's media ventures. Will Harry and Meghan find success with their projects? Or will they keep facing mixed reactions as they try to find their place in Hollywood? The final word, polo, friendship, and moving forward. The world of polo might seem far away to many, but this story has all the ingredients of a royal scandal. It involves a breakdown in a high-profile friendship, disappointing media projects, and a bit of drama. Nacho Figueres and Prince Harry have always been gentlemen, both on and off the polo field. But this latest development adds a surprising twist to their story. This situation teaches us about the importance of friendship and loyalty. Can Nacho Figueres and Prince Harry fix their bond after this public comment? Or is this the start of bigger problems in their relationship? Only time will tell. In the world of the British royals and their friends, even Polo can't avoid drama. The media is already buzzing, and fans are guessing what will happen next. 
Everyone is watching Harry, Nacho, and their friendship closely. Will they ride off into the sunset together again? Or has their polo match between friends ended in defeat? We'll have to wait and see. In the royal world, nothing stays quiet for long. Kate Middleton no longer playing peacemaker between Prince William, Harry. Meghan Markle labeled the problem by Ashima Grover. A new report contradicts previous claims that Kate Middleton contacted Prince Harry on his birthday and held out an olive branch for him. Last month, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, released an emotional video message confirming that she had completed her chemotherapy treatment after being diagnosed with cancer three months ago. Soon after, royal experts weighed in on her video, conjecturing it was much more than just a health update. With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities in a way you have never considered before, and with that, a new perspective on everything, Princess Catherine said in the video. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted, of simply loving and being loved. Also read is King Charles III's extraordinary resilience concerning the future of the monarch. Kate Middleton did not contact Prince Harry on his birthday. Royal expert Jenny Bond was one such person who suggested that Kate might have unexpectedly referenced extending an olive branch to her estranged brother-in-law, Prince Harry. The new perspective on things in light of her journey to recovery may have influenced Prince William and her decision to publicly wish Harry on September 15th, his birthday. Kate Middleton no longer playing peacemaker between Prince William, Harry. Meghan Markle labeled the problem by Ashima Grover. October 5, 2024, 1142 AM IST. A new report contradicts previous claims that Kate Middleton contacted Prince Harry on his birthday and held out an olive branch for him. Last month, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, released an emotional video message confirming that she had completed her chemotherapy treatment after being diagnosed with cancer three months ago. Soon after, Royal experts weighed in on her video, conjecturing it was much more than just a health update. Britain's Prince William, second right, Kate, Princess of Wales, right, Prince Harry, left, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, second left, leave after they paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth II in Westminster Hall for the lying in state. In London, Wednesday, September 14, 2022. AP, Britain's Prince William, second right, Kate, Princess of Wales, right, Prince Harry, left, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, second left, leave after they paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth. Two in Westminster Hall for the lying in state, in London, Wednesday, September 14, 2022. AP, Britain's Prince William, second right, Kate, Princess of Wales, right, Prince Harry, left, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, second left, leave after they paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth II in Westminster Hall for the lying in state, in London, Wednesday, September 14, 2022. AP. With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities in a way you have never considered before, and with that, a new perspective on everything, Princess Catherine said in the video. Gear up to prepare for a future brand manager role with Micah's brand management and communication course. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted, of simply loving and being loved. Also read is King Charles III's extraordinary resilience concerning the future of the monarch. Kate Middleton did not contact Prince Harry on his birthday. Royal expert Jenny Bond was one such person who suggested that Kate might have unexpectedly referenced extending an olive branch to her estranged brother-in-law, Prince Harry. The new perspective on things in light of her journey to recovery may have influenced Prince William and her decision to publicly wish Harry on September 15th, his birthday. Promoted. Enhance your glow with tailored care. Shop now. What premium? Sponsored. Cost of laser liposuction in Mexico might surprise you. See prices. Liposuction eye search ads. Sponsored. AI courses might be cheaper than you think. AI course search ads. Sponsored. Belly fat removal without surgery in Cameroon.